it looks very nice now I am able to put my stuff in here yeah it's not that heavy too so moving it into here was easy for me to do because I moved that dresser because this one was right here moved it all the way over there by myself amazing what a breakup would do <laughs> So my Amazon packages came in. I honestly forgot what I ordered, Deuce. Do you remember what I ordered? Okay, so the first thing is a birthday present. I got this for my best friend. It's a little um, facial steamer. So when you go to like spas or get your um, a facial, majority of the time they'll have like a steamer like blowing like hot steam at your face and it's supposed to like relax your skin open your pores and stuff like that so I got her one for she can do it at home and I'm also going to get her other stuff from like Sephora then I got some shower caps just because when I I don't know for some reason my shower head I think that's what it's called the shower head and my uh, shower it's like creating this mist so now because like I don't wear shower caps when I take a shower when if I'm not washing my hair and my hair straight um and now whenever I do take a shower and my hair straight and I, I don't plan on washing my hair it like creates like this mist so it's like misty and it like makes my hair like pretty much wet even if I don't get it wet in the um, shower I don't know pretty basic I got five just in case I like, guess wanted to use it. Oh, are these my uh, batteries? So I got two more batteries for this light. I use this as my center light and this is a pretty good light if you are filming or taking photos. This is a pretty good light. I got this for, from Amazon for like $20 at least. Oh, then I got this. These are like little hangers so I can use this in my closet because I'm running out of space in my closet and I keep on buying new clothes. So these hooks go on your hangers and you can stick another hanger right here so that way it could create a little bit more room in my room. In my closet, not in my room. They came in a pack of 60 which is nice. I got a little facial brush. Is this supposed to be a headband? Like, look how small this is. This is not gonna fit my head. This is gonna fit like an infant's head. This basically fit Deuce's head. You like it? Now I can give you facials. I can give you doggy facials now. See? You don't like that? But I got this cleansing brush for when I cleanse my face. I did purchase the Vanity Planet spinning brush, but I didn't like how it felt on my face. For some reason, it just felt like it was like burning. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I was doing it right. I'm too scared to try it again. So I got this one, and uh, so I could just manually just scrub my face. And on the other side, it's silicone, so that way I can like really get in and exfoliate, especially around my nose because I do have blackheads around my nose. These are. nice containers for my dresser unit over there but yeah, I got I think it just came in a pack of six so it came with four like narrow ones one square one and then like a rectangle one one big rectangle so I don't know how I want to organize this. So right now I have all my palettes in here, just eyeshadow, face palette, where I only have one face palette and this is the Anastasia That Glow Kit. The first one, the first one that came out and is unfortunately um, discontinued. Then I have just like random makeup in here, just because majority of my makeup is all like right here, like right here in here up here 
So I don't really know what I want to put in here, but I have a lot of fancy stuff. And then I have this like little cute face file. Actually, this is supposed to be up here. This is gonna be a problem. Then in here, I have all my brushes and beauty blenders that need to be clean. And then in here, I have all my skincare products that also need to be clean. I have my like more tech stuff. So I have my um, hard drive, this little thing that connects to the computer for like a USB, um, my SD cards and stuff like that. I have this to put like my cores and stuff for when I travel. And then I have my camera. In here, I also put my camera that I'm filming right now in here as well. The microphone and the um, tripods in here. In here, I have hair products, which I realized that um, not a lot of my hair products can fit into this unless I like lay it down like that. But I don't really want to do that just because it might leak and I don't want it to leak in here. And then I have my hot tools in here. And then, I don't know what I have in the bottom. I think bottom is just miscellaneous stuff that I don't know what to do. It's mostly just like um, makeup bags, hair bands, and pony effect. Normally when I film in my room, I don't film like this, but I have my backdrop all the way up here and my monitor and stuff like that. So, record it like this. I wanted it to be cute, so I got this candy from work. I don't know who gave this to me, but it was on my desk at work. And he's Smarties little hearts, like a focus. And I wanted to do something cute, um, like a photo shoot with these, but you couldn't really see them on camera, so I just, threw away that idea and then I did something with these these fake flowers and then I have this chocolate heart cake that I got from Rayleigh's last week and I've been really wanting to eat this but I also wanted to use it for the video or at least for like a photo gonna clean up eat play a little bit of Red Dead and then I need to edit I need to edit the Valentine's Day video I need to edit a Yes Style video because I bought some stuff from Yes Style and I also need to film the uh, edit my crystal video so I got to edit three videos but yeah so this is like kind of like my setup for how I want to take my Instagram photos so I put up my backdrop behind my closet have my lights right here along with my camera and also my monitor but I wouldn't be sitting down I'll be standing up like I already shot a couple of photos um still editing them you know I'm gonna resurrect my Instagram it's coming back it's coming back from the dead you know I'm just finalizing on how I want to edit my photos because I honestly wanted to be consistent for the longest time I've been trying to come up with a theme for my photos or for my Instagram, like a really nice cute theme. But it's so hard because I just overthink and I just want photos to be like match really good. Like some Instagrams that I really, really, really like. I liked um, Michelle Fawn's Instagram when she did the whole color scheme uh, concept. And then like Aspen, she, her Instagram looks really nice too. And then um, Rika's. Instagram looks really nice. She has like a more of a peachy type of tone to her Instagram. So I'm just like, I just want it to look consistent, you know, not all over the place and just random or anything like that. So it's coming back. Hello everyone. So today is Valentine's Day. So this was my outfit today wearing my favorite floral dress from Forever 21 and I'm wearing my boots my knee-high boots that I got from Shein they're cute a little bit uncomfortable though not gonna lie but super cute along with my um thigh high socks that I got from Yesstyle the one with the little jelly pads they have little jelly pads in here 
so they can stick to your skin and not slip off and fall off. So like I said before, today is Valentine's Day and I really hope that you guys had a wonderful and loving Valentine's Day. I had a really good day, you know, I went to work and I was surprised with chocolates on my desk. Um, someone in the office got my whole entire team C's candy chocolates and I was like, you know, like the people at my job do like cute little things, like they'll leave stuff on your desk. Um, sometimes randomly or like if it's close to a holiday like during the Christmas time they'll leave stuff on like people's desk and my desk and it was, it was just so cute and then my building was um, doing a cute little um, Valentine's Day event where they were giving out like hot chocolate and coffee and these little cinnamon buns with a little heart on it so that was nice and then I took myself on a date and I went to go eat ramen because I've been craving ramen all this week, all last week. And I was like, oh, I could just make it here at home. But then I was like, no, let me get it professionally made. So at first I was a little bit nervous because I was going alone. And I haven't eaten alone in the city since I was in college, like the first couple of years in college. And so I just got so used to eating with other people. So I was a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, but I'm happy I did it because it was so good. Like I was so full. <laughs> then I came home and my mom got me some peanut butter fudge from this one candy store out here. And I absolutely love peanut butter fudge so much. It just tastes so good. And then my dad got me some C's candy. I think these are truffles. Yay, for soft shells? Yes, for oh, soft shells. Oh, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> like me. <laughs> you gotta try it. I'm not try trying it. it. I don't try a sip of it. No, I'm not trying it. <laughs> that smell was awful. Did you drink? Are you drinking yes, it? Yes, I'm drinking it. It has pro probiotics. Alright, I'm gonna say, I might spit this out. So, if you're willing to risk that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Alright, this, this doesn't taste as bad as it smells, but it don't taste good. That, that was disgusting. Can you close my door? <coughs> Girl, God. I found out that Keanu Reeves was filming The Matrix inside my building on the 28th floor this week, okay? And I did not see him at all. Not even the slightest bit. But. Um, before they even were shooting out here, they sent an uh, email to the building and the building sent an email to all the businesses inside the building saying that the ice cream project is being filmed out here and showed all the streets that they were filming at and stuff like that, but they didn't give any like insight of like if they're filming inside the building, outside the building or anything like that. It just said the streets what day they're filming and like also like a little bit what's going on on the outside so me when i read it i thought it was gonna be a rom-com you know kind of romantic comedy because it was called the ice cream project until i read controlled crashes and simulated gunfire and i was like what type of movie is this turns out they're filming the matrix the next one i think it's the fourth one and they only used the, the ice cream project as like a cold. So, yeah, so I was like, oh, that's really cool until I found out like, oh, they're shooting it in my building. And I was like, oh my God. So of course people like kind of found out that he was recording inside our building and they were waiting. Like there was a line of people waiting for him inside the building and outside the building. I was one of them, okay. Cause you know, I just wanted to see him and just yell out, Rajon like he did in Toy Story 4. Like, okay, that was my favorite quote from that movie was Rajon, do it for Rajon. That's the main reason why I wanted to see him, okay? See you about that. Needless to say, I didn't end up seeing him the days that he was filming inside my building because um, he took the back way 
of the freight elevator which I totally understand because at the end of the day he is a human being and he probably just didn't want to like deal with his fans and the people seeing him he just wanted to go to work do his thing and then go home or go back to his hotel and just chill and, you know stuff like that so I was a little bummed that I didn't get to say Rajon to him but at least I get to say that he found inside my building on the 28th floor for the Matrix Hello everyone, so it is a very lazy Sunday. I just um, put on a load of laundry and our new washing machine and what's cool about it is, is that it has an app. So this is the app, it's going to take about 46 minutes and I also like it because it has the weather on here. So that's really nice too. And if there's like a problem with our washing machine, it'll tell us through the app, which is very helpful because our last washing machine was having troubles with the, I think, spinning. And we couldn't really figure it out. And we have warranty under Sears. And Sears would send out like contractors to try to fix it. And those contractors honestly didn't. They're not the brightest crowns in the box basically had to deal with multiple contractors just for one to finally say you know what we're just going to get you a new one also this one came with a google home so i have a google home now well the google mini home which is funny because we have like a whole bunch of alexa echoes or the echo echo dots i think that's what they're called so my parents has one in their room, Jamie has one in his room, we have the actual tower one in our living room, and then we have another Echo Dot in, in the office, and I have a Google Home, and I honestly, I don't really know what to do with it. It's like, what do you do? Like, hey Google, tell me a joke. How do mountains see? They peak. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Doing laundry. Then I need to send my trunk club back. Um, I need to clean out my purses. Because I honestly, I haven't really done that. And we're live. Produced by the colleagues. Take one. <laughs> 